Symbiotic relationships are seen everywhere in nature, yet according to science, they just don't make any sense. So why do we see them so often? Well, in order to understand this, we have to go back to the 1940s and the development of game theory, which aimed to model the complex interactions between people using games. And no, not these games. I'm talking about mathematical scenarios. That's right, you thought this would be a video about life sciences? Nope, it's about math now. Anyways, one such game can help us better understand our question. We have two rational agents, each presented with a choice to trust or betray. This choice must be made independently, and if both agents trust each other, it's the best case scenario and they walk away with three points each. Agent Orange gets five points by betraying instead, but now Agent Blue finds himself with absolutely nothing. All hope is not lost because he too can betray and get one point instead of zero. This is known as the prisoner's dilemma, and it appears to tell us that it makes the most sense for each agent to betray. However, this is clearly a suboptimal outcome. Cooperation would have resulted in a much better situation for everyone and no cost. So why does our math and logic lead us awry? Well, cooperation requires some kind of relationship, and by definition, you can't get one out of a single encounter. And this is where we get our real answer. For the most part, life isn't a game. It's a series of repeated games based on thousands and thousands of interactions. Now, we have a lot more than just two strategies. And if we take 63 of those strategies, load them up onto a computer, and stick them into a simulation, the results actually flip. Now, the best thing to do was to cooperate. In other words, choose trust as much as possible. In fact, the top half of the table was now almost completely filled by trusting strategy. The second trait was to stand up for yourself and retaliate. With that, however, immediately returning to cooperation almost always resulted in long-term success. And these exact same rules apply to evolution too. From cleaner fish and sharks, to oxpeckers and rhinos, to the trenches of World War I, and even bitter enemies found moments of peace during Christmas time, cooperation can arise in the strangest and most challenging conditions. Because working together and helping others out not just morally right, it adds up mathematically too. 